is supposed to be Suzanne Summer's 77th birthday, and uh, she didn't make it. My best pal, my second mom, the great Suzanne Summers passed away this morning. I found out about it, I don't know, three hours ago. And I've wanted to do something, but what? So I figured I would tell you a story or two and then play you the last interview I ever did with her. It was in Palm Desert, and she was in pain then. You know, a lot of people didn't know Suzanne, in great shape her whole life. And then a few years ago, she had a whole bunch of stairs in her house. I think they counted it was like 275 stairs or something crazy. And she fell down a flight of stairs and broke her back and broke her neck and was in a lot of pain for a long, long time. And she fought through it. And I thought she was okay. And then all of a sudden she's been doing this show on Facebook and Instagram. And I've been working on it with them. And then uh, she's going to take a couple of weeks or months off. And I thought, great, good. And then this morning she's gone. Um. People always ask me, so what was she, what's Suzanne really like? What was Suzanne Summers really like? Suzanne Summers is exactly the way you hope she would be, but even nicer, even cooler. I believe me, I have met every major star from the eighties and nineties, all of them, and nobody was as gracious and kind and loving and caring as Suzanne Summers. She had a thousand stories. My favorite story of hers, and then I'll get to the interview so you can see her, was when she was in American Graffiti. Now, if you haven't seen American Graffiti, you should go back and see it. She's only in it for a a couple of moments, but she's uh, a super important part of the story. So she says, I took the job on American Graffiti for $300 because I needed the money. This was before uh, Three's Company and everything else. She's not a star yet. And she gets to the set and she's looking around at all these people. She doesn't even know. Like, well, there's Ron Howard. He was that kid Opie from ha- from uh, the Andy Griffith show. And this Richard Dreyfus guy and there's this guy Harrison Ford and the director's this unknown guy named George Lucas and she's looking around going what a bunch of losers and thinking you know this thing isn't going to do anything and so the movie's a huge hit but right after the movie Three's Company comes out and of course she's a big star and so the next year tonight the ABC movie of the week American Graffiti starring Suzanne Summers. So she got a big kick out of that story. And again, if you haven't seen American Graffiti, you really should. Um, I don't know. I could tell you a hundred stories. <laughs> but um, honestly, I'm not in the mood for it. I just found out. I'm processing this. She was... The one, whenever I started dating somebody new or was thinking about getting engaged or getting married, everybody had to go through Suzanne. Everybody. And that wasn't my rule. That was hers. And she would give me the okay or the not so okay. And I took that very um, seriously. I think when you watch this interview, I think looking back i could see she was still in she was in a lot of pain from the back and neck injury she wouldn't talk about it that wasn't something she 
would share with people, not because she was being secretive, but because she wanted to be worrying about her. But she still has a great sense of humor. She's still fun. She's still great. And uh, this was from, I believe, 2021, probably June or July. Or was it 22? It was 2022, excuse me. June or July 2022. The last time I saw Suzanne Summers. And I hope you enjoy the interview. And Suzanne, I will miss you every single day. My ass hurts. This is one of my favorite people on the planet. And he's mine. And I've been sitting here for two hours. My my ass hurts. <laughs> That's Suzanne Summers. And we've done, how long do you think we've known each other? We're talking about 15 years, don't you think? At least. You were young then. I was young and good looking. Because you're always you're always young and good looking. I wasn't in menopause yet. Well, wow. okay. Any of those symptoms, itchy, bitchy, sleepy, sweaty, bloated, forgetful, and all dried up, the seven dwarves of menopause, any of those are bothering you, you need hormones. Right. That's how we met. You're the only one who would let me go on the radio and talk about menopause and hormones. And hormones. And you'd go, oh, okay, what do you want to say about hormones? I know more about hormones than pretty much everybody. How do you make hormones? Don't don't pay her. There you go. <laughs> Bada ching. Thanks for coming. Two drink minimum, everybody. Come see Suzanne Summers. By the way, SuzanneSummers.com. She's got great products. This is my uh, favorite restaurant here, and we eat a lot of pizza, but we don't usually come inside. My favorite table is out there. This episode is Suzanne Summers' favorite restaurant in Palm, Palm Desert. Desert. Because you're the queen of Palm Springs. Right, but I don't live there for the moment. Why is that? Because my house isn't finished. It's got in the toilet. When I have toilets, I will move. Okay. You know I'm a great cook. So yes. We don't go out very much. Mm -hmm. I cook. Uh, although Alan has started to not want dinner. Alan, why is that, Alan? I don't want dinner at 7 o'clock or even 6 o'clock. I like dinner at 3 o'clock. Oh, he's getting old. That's old stuff, isn't it? That's old yeah. shit. I mentioned, I mentioned this on, the, on one of the shows last week, and I nice. can't tell you the number of people who responded by saying, I love having dinner three, four, five, yeah. old fart time. Linner, Linner, yeah. we Linner. have Linner. Linner. Yeah. You know what? If you eat dinner, Linner, at three, you're finished. If you eat real slow, which you should, it's real good for digestion, you're finished at four, thirty, then what? Then we watch the porn channel for a couple of days. <laughs> Mom, Dad, stop it's like it! Our conversation over here. <laughs> she has a chair ass too from sitting so long. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Two shows you. One, your top five places in Palm Desert. Oh, no, I have five. Okay, three. I have three. Okay, we'll do the top three places in Palm Desert. Then I want to do top five things you can do to make yourself feel better. Oh. You like that? Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not okay. talking about naughty. I'm, we're not talking about your seven times a day you guys have sex you say on TV. I'm talking about like supplements and, and hormones and things. That's a good episode. <laughs> Top three places in Palm Desert to eat. Suzanne Summers says what? Number number three. Jillian's. Jillian's. Jillian's, but it's closed for the summer. Um, Il Corso sometimes. And then this place, Piero's. This is my favorite. Okay, why is this your favorite? What's because the great about I, I can pull up in front and he goes in and gets a pizza and brings it out in the car. Which mm -hmm. is, that's my real table. We eat the car. The, oh, yeah, because <laughs> by the time you get your pizza home, it doesn't, doesn't taste good. It's yeah. like, it's limp. Nothing worse than limp pizza. pizza. We know that, don't we, Alan? Huh? There you go. You know what? I just realized we did something very wrong for Travel and Food Channel. What? We already ate. Yeah. We yeah, didn't we get did. video of, of the food. We did not eat limp pizza. No. It was no. very good. Right. Okay. So this is the place to come. Yeah. And anything else that you would suggest in Palm Desert or Palm Springs because you are the queen of Palm Here's Springs. Here's her husband. And we've, mm -hmm. I'm sorry we've been embarrassing your wife here. <laughs> <laughs> She's my kind of girl. <laughs> <laughs> also, you were coming. You wanted to come. We need to get Suzanne Summers Road in Palm Springs. We were yes. talking about that. I, you, you, you missed it though. You were saying Suzanne Summers Way. Suzanne, it should be Suzanne Summers Street. Oh. Yes. S S S. Suzanne yes. Summers Street. Yes. Are you going to do that? This is not a hard thing to pull off. I really 
lived there 45 years. They got Frank Sinatra Boulevard. They got I know, Dean and, and Martin. I, and they tell me to go to the doctor, go to uh, Frank Sinatra and Bob Hope. Mm -hmm. I would like Suzanne Summers to come right between Bob Hope and Frank Sinatra. I like that. I worked with both of them. Mm -hmm. okay. That'd be good. All right. So, you know, when Dick Clark and I were partners, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> when, Dick, when Dick and I were partners, yeah. This is Dick Clark he's Dick talking in about. In LA, okay. Clark Street meets Hamlet Street. That's right. Oh, wow. Just like, just so, and by the way, you've been watching our little travel channel. I love it. Yeah. I don't like the name. It's a brand new name. I just it's started it. Boring. Exploring America? Who cares? <laughs> Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why, okay? Because in Hollywood, they're really good about... That was a good Chrissy Snow snort. I like that. In Hollywood, they're really good about slipping in political things. What I'm trying to do is celebrate America and Americana by going to all these great places and showing what's great about America. Okay, well then that's a great time. What's, why do you call it, no, what's great Celebrating about America? America? Celebrating America is okay. better than... Oh, that is good. Yeah. Now i got to buy another website. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. And I just I'll got a couple things printed up. Yeah. That's, okay, well, that's another... That's a $400 thing. Thank you, Suzanne. Suzanne just cost me $400. Okay. I'll pay for it. Okay, celebrating I'll see if that, I, that one's open. That, now I go, okay. Mm -hmm. By the way, there's one great clip of you I see on YouTube. I'm going to put it on here of you looking at Prince Charles, and finally, Prince Charles looks like a human being. Who's the little guy, William and Kate's youngest son, who was being a two? Louis. Louis. Who did not want to be there. <laughs> As a comedian, I'm watching every movie he's making, go, it's perfect, perfect. <laughs> He could make any face he wanted. The rest of them all had to go, oh, that's lovely, lovely, lovely. And he humanized Prince Charles for me for the very first time. Did you see him sit in his grandfather's lap? I've never seen Prince Charles be affectionate or show any kind of human interaction. And he took the little boy in his lap. You can tell he's done it before. The little boy was very comfortable being in his grandfather's lap. And, you know, they don't, they can't sit still. They got to go back and forth. And... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I humanized him. I told him all these years. I said, just get on camera with me. I'll make, it, I'll make you a human being. And he got on with his grandson and was playing with his grandson. And Well, the grandson was playing with him. <laughs> the grandson didn't want to be there to watch another ceremony and watch the queen. He's not a queen. She's my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he just took him to keep him quiet. You, you're always working on something. You've got a great podcast and video cast is on YouTube. Am I on YouTube? Yeah. Oh, all right. I'm on YouTube. <laughs> the, the greatest woman in the world. I love her so much. She's like my second mom, yep. even though she looks way too young for that. <laughs> all right. So until next time, we are now celebrating America. Yeah. That's a much better name. All right. Hit the, tell them to hit the subscribe button, would you? Hit subscribe. The next episode of Suzanne Summers is How to Feel Better. That's coming up. Hit the subscribe button. We'll catch you next time.